<laughs> that was Mr. Derek J. At 7.29 in the morning, <laughs> sitting down. And you can just imagine how it's going to be at the VMICH when he's standing up, walking around. And at night, it's going to be, but we're, we're going to give you a little break. Deborah, what was what was about there that made you realize that I really want to work? Was what, was there a particular song that made you say, "This is the fellow who could I could collaborate with, I could sing songs for, produce songs for"? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Well, um, first up, mm. he's a wonderful man. Like mm. he's a very, mm. very genuine man. Um, you know, very, very friendly, very uh, personable mm. to work with. And uh, his whole repertoire, I just love, you know, the whole repertoire from Engel Engelbert Humperdinck mm. to Kamal and all, all the covers, mm. um, not to mention, you know, a whole other um, repertoire mm. of 50s, 60 songs. Um, and I love that kind of music, so it just really appealed to me mm. at the time. And, uh, and just our, we get along really well and our energy... You know, he's got great energy, yeah. great aura about him. So, yeah. yeah. Um, well, thank you. Very much. We have more, of course, uh, to discuss and more songs to hear from Derek. And uh, so, but we need to take a break when we come back. So please uh, do keep us company. Five six two double zero one seven. We have we had a wonderful caller who luckily is going to see Derek for free. But we're not going to do that anymore. Okay? <laughs> but that's not a reason for you not to call. 562-0017. We'll be back. This is Good Morning Sri Lanka. <laughs> and hues that nature tinted our landscape with Lanka tiles. Friday at 10 p.m. on Channel 1 MTV. Hello, little fella. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> Malcolm in the Middle. Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. on Channel 1 MTV. This 28-year-old sultry songstress gets her looks from her Portuguese background. Women with big dreams of being a model are victimized by predators out there to take advantage of them in their worst way. Six, uh, seven, eight, one, uh, three. Thanks for watching. Do you feel like you and Brittany are forever? Uh, of course. I yeah. mean, that's that's the love of my life. I, I don't see myself with anybody else. Tyra. Weekdays at 3.30 p.m. on Channel 1 MTV. I'm already on the 101. Ah, oh, you actors never listen. <laughs> I just watched your last scene. Wow, you're all so lucky to have work. Joy, Thursday at 8.30 p.m. on Channel 1 MTV. <laughs> And yes, it's a special Monday morning here on Good Morning Sri Lanka. And as you can see, we um, we have two very special uh, people inside the studio. But first, let me tell you about the show. It's on the 27th of October at BMICH. You can still get tickets for that. There's another show happening on the 3rd of November at Water's Edge. No more tickets for that one. But <laughs> you can get the tickets for BMICH. Of course, inside the studio. If just in case you, uh, you just tuned in, ah, you missed Unchained Melody. But we got a couple more songs to go. We have Mr. Uh, of course, Derek J. and Miss uh, Deborah Wilson with us. And would-be singers are wondering, you gotta have a ritual. I was I was asking earlier. You came came to uh, to the to the NBC and MTV premises around 6:30. There has to be something. Did you wake up at four o'clock? Started the Doremi Fasola CD? Oh no no. 
it's it's one of those things I I, I don't know because oh. uh, I've never been trained as oh. a singer. It's probably the man above gave me that gift. Oh. And uh, all the morning shows I do in Australia, only thing only the trade secret is that I don't eat anything till I finish. I, mean, I might have a cup of tea or a warm glass of water. Oh. That's all I do. I don't do all these vocal exercises, which I would know how to do a vocal exercise. Mm. But uh, it's one of those sort of things. I just, and that's one of the reasons. Even mm. most of the TV networks, mm. <coughs> they have. I've been with all those programs. Says Good Morning Australia was on that program mm. for 14 years. Mm. They tend to like my approach. Where I don't make a such a big fuss. I just come there and they're on time. I do my song. They get a very good viewers response, mm. and they keep calling me over and over mm. again. So for a year, I might do uh, 10 performances on one network, mm. another 10 on another mm. network. So I'm pretty well covered in doing all all um, uh, stations. Mm. So yeah, it's been good. So you don't come in with a posse, like a th crew of 14 people? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm a sort of a humble performer. Uh, that's one of the reasons I think, you know, I've not lost my head. Mm. I, I've been very, very successful in my mm. music career. Mm. <coughs> I have. I got two gold albums, mm. uh, you know, to, to have an independent mm. label and ha achieving two gold albums, it's, mm. it's, it's another plus for me. Mm. I'm not talking high of myself. Mm. All what I'm trying to tell you is that uh, because I believed in myself mm. and I want to sell that big quantity, mm. just in Melbourne we would have sold over 200,000 albums. For a, just an individual person to sell that quantity, it's, mm. it's, 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 it's a hard road. Mm. But because of my TV exposure, and uh, I'm one of the only Asian who's doing, who's been selected mm. to uh, for morning shows, and I cash in on that very well. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, from Sri Lanka, of course, people from South Asia are very proud of you. I have with uh, me right now the, the one of uh, the two of your eight CDs, and I know this will be a difficult question. You got. You have the most beautiful girl behind closed doors. You decorated my life. Wind beneath my wings. Power of love. Delilah. Is there a favorite? Is there is there a show you wouldn't do without that particular song? Part of part that's part of the show. That it, a certain song that has to be part <coughs> of your every show. Uh, a song title, I believe. No, mm -hmm. I haven't. It's a funny thing. I haven't recorded that song. The reason <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's I've been doing that. Uh, that song as my it's one of my big mm. songs and uh, of the albums of course I think I have to do a lot of Ingle Bird mm. humbling songs because lots of fans tell me that I I sound pretty close to mm. the, the man and uh, on my first album I think I did about uh, eight of his mm. tracks and uh, because they were all covers of Ingle Bird mm. I was able to catch them because they saw the imitation Ingle Bird in action and uh, I was able to sell quite a big quantity. So my favorite song of uh, of my of the CDs which mm. I put, I think uh, I will go for Release Me is one of, one of the most requested songs. Yes, yeah. that's my favorite wedding mm. song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Favorite wedding song, okay. Deborah, yeah. um, what can they expect when, when, they, when they see Derek in action on stage? What, how energy? What, what is the energy? How, how is it? How, is it like a? Is this the perfect concert to bring a date? Oh, or is it perfect concert so wait, wait. To, to reminisce? Yeah, probably mm. both. Mm. A bit of both, um, because he, Derek covers such a broad range of of songs, mm. um, and his energy. He's very. He connects with the audience mm. quite intensively. Um, and just really gives to the audience mm. rather than just being up there singing a few songs he really generates a, a big energy mm. on stage and that's what really um, draw, drew me in mm. as well and he really draws the audience in um, with all the songs so mm. yeah so I'm really looking forward to it. Mm. Um, yeah. You mentioned one song 